Lead up, look on the ASA. We just had something go right over the top of us. I hate to say this looked like a long cylindrical object. It almost looked like a cruise missile type of thing moving really fast that went right over the top of us. You do believe that the aliens do exist? The aliens are not there. The aliens are here. They're among us. There's a group which deliberately sends signals into outer space. That's a bad idea. I get a lot of emails and some of them say, Professor, you're wrong. You're totally wrong. The aliens are not there. The aliens are here. They're among us. And how do they know? These people claim that they've been kidnapped. They've been kidnapped by aliens and they've been in the flying saucers. When you're walking down a forest and you meet a squirrel, do you go down to the squirrels and talk to it? Well, maybe initially, hey, hi, squirrel. But eventually you get bored because the squirrel has nothing to say to you. If we are the squirrels and aliens from outer space land on the earth, what do we have to offer them? Shakespeare? Well, maybe they don't <clears throat> understand English. What do we have to offer them? Gold? Gold means nothing to them. In fact, gold is rather a useless metal for an advanced civilization. What do they want? To eat us? We're not going to be made out of the same DNA. They're not going to want to eat us or mate with us or do anything with our genome. We're totally different from them. So I think for the most part, they'll leave us alone. They'll say, oh, nice squirrel, and leave us alone. You do believe that the aliens do exist. That's a check, right? Yeah, that's a check. There's a group called the METI Project, which deliberately, deliberately sends signals into outer space saying, here we are, here's what we like, this is what we can do, and visit us sometime. I think that's a bad idea because we don't know what their intentions are. Maybe they've been scanning us. Maybe they know pretty much where, what our technological development level is. They know a lot about us, our language, our culture. They're pretty advanced. But for the most part, we're not interesting to them. But one day, if we advertise our existence and reveal how much we have, resources, minerals, perhaps things that are of value to an alien civilization. So I think for the most part, it's a bad idea to advertise our existence to aliens in outer space. In other words, maybe we're off the radar. Let's keep it that way for a while. I think aliens probably have more important things to worry about because if you are a, uh, a person walking in a forest, there are lots of forest animals out there. Some forest animals are probably more interesting than squirrels. And so I think there's a lot more interesting things for them to be preoccupied with. Got and it. so I think for the most part, we should lie low. You know, we've analyzed 4,000 planets so far, 4,000. Uh, of which roughly 20% seem to be Earth-like. Now that expanded to the galaxy means that there are billions, billions of Earth-like planets, maybe a little bit bigger than the Earth, but billions of Earth-like planets out there. To assume that we're the only one, I think, is the height of arrogance. Many of my friends, you know, they're all physicists. When you talk aliens to them, their eyes kind of like roll up into the heavens and they start to shake their heads. That's the giggle factor that whenever you talk to them about that. And why do they giggle? They say the distance between stars is so great, it would take hundreds, thousands of years for them to reach us. But you see, that assumes they are a hundred years ahead of us. And of course, a hundred years ahead of us, a civilization like that cannot reach the Earth. But for the moment, think of what could happen if they are a million years ahead of us. If they were a million years ahead of us, and our science is only 300 years old, 300 years ago we lived in witchcraft, sorcery, magic. That's where we were 300 years ago. If they're a million years ahead of us, which is a blink of an eye, a blink of an eye because the universe is 13.8 billion years old, then think that their understanding of the laws of physics would be completely different from our understanding of the laws of physics. You see, our understanding of the laws of physics break down. Break down at the instant of creation, the Big Bang, and the center of a black hole. We don't know anything about the center of a black hole or the instant of creation. New laws of physics open up. Perhaps wormholes, 
gateways that allow us to go faster than the speed of light. And so get rid of all your prejudices that they can't reach us because they're, they're only 100 years ahead of us. If they're a million years ahead of us, new laws of physics begin to open up. We hope you found this video valuable. Let us know what your opinion on all this is down in the comments section. And don't forget to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this.